All right, so the first step you're going to need to do is have a clean skull. This is a European mount we did. It's completely clean, all the meat's off of it. And the supplies we're going to need is some saran wrap and some electric tape to wrap up the antlers to keep that finished uh, metal product off of there. And then I just like a black spray primer for the base coat. And this here is a Sculpt Nouveau. It's a black wax for all metals. And here from Sculpt Nouveau as well is a bronze metal coating. So we're going to be putting those products on here and I'll show you the steps. First step here, all we're going to do is just wrap up those antlers to avoid getting any product on them. And then we'll get to the rest. There you can see, we got them wrapped up a few inches there, just enough to keep all the stuff off of there. And now we're going to be using that black primer spray paint and we'll get that base coat down. As you can tell, we got our first coat of primer on there. We're going to let that thing sit in front of the fan for probably about half hour. Let that dry up real nice and we'll put a second coat on there to make sure we didn't miss any spots. And then we'll get to the coloring. Here we are, uh, we waited a little more than half hour, probably about 45 minutes. And that thing's completely dry. There's a few spots here that I want to touch up. But for the most part, that first coat did just about everything we needed to. So I'll touch up a few spots here, then we'll get to the bronzing. There we got the second coat on, well the touch ups, and we let that dry for about 10 to 15 more minutes. And now we're ready to add the bronze coat. One thing you're gonna wanna remember is that when you're using your paintbrush, don't just go at it, because the stuff a little bit does go a very long ways. So just start by putting a nice even first layer on, and if there's any touch ups you need to do, then you can just go back and cover that up later.
there you have it that's the first coat uh, we put that first layer on we'll try to make it as even as possible that is the bronze B from Sculpt Nouveau and this stuff does take a little longer to dry than the primer so we're going to let this sit overnight in front of the fan and tomorrow we'll put on the second coat and make sure there's no more spots that we missed and then we'll move on hey guys welcome back to day two as you can see that thing dried overnight and now we're ready to put the second coat of the bronze metal coating on it There it is, the second coat has been applied. Uh, we used that second coat to ensure that we didn't miss any spots between the metal coating and the primer. So now we're just gonna let this one sit for about an hour and a half to two hours, and then we'll get back to you. We waited uh, probably another two hours to let that uh, metal coating dry. And just like this one here, we're going to be putting the black paste on it and that just comes in a little jar like that, two ounce jar. And using a different paintbrush, we're just going to daub that on and cover the entire surface, everything we can reach, and try to get that covered. There you have it, covered all the surface area with the black paste, and this drying process does take a little bit longer. The paste does, does have to cure for anywhere from six to 24 hours. You can let it sit up to 24 hours. Uh, that just, the only difference it makes is just 
adds a little more darkness just like that guy here we let that one sit for the full 24 hours before the final step so we're going to let this one sit for probably about 12 hours and we'll get back to you Alrighty, so this deer has been cured for just under 12 hours. Now the only thing we need for this next step is just some steel wool. And what we're going to be doing is just real lightly uh, scraping away some of this excess paste or uh, metal wax here. And then we'll have our final result. There you guys have it. That is a metal finish on a mule deer skull. Uh, super cool process and it's super simple. Sculpt Nouveau has a lot of cool products that I recommend you guys check out in a few different finishes. I hope you guys enjoyed our video today and I hope you like and subscribe and stay tuned for some more videos.